Here in this code sample we have separated the SPX web pages for each one of the department in our small web store. Well, there is the flower SPX page and there is the books SPX page. Each one of these two web pages use the same master page the same master page that takes care of displaying a row of links on the bottom of the page links for all web pages this web application includes within the global class we instantiate tariff uh, class so that we have a tariff object one and only object for the whole application from each web page we tr we're, we're, whenever we try to access um, the uh, tariff object, we should get the very same object. Uh, in this specific code sample, we don't use this object, but it is just kind of a proof of concept. So when you go move forward and develop your own web store, uh, it would be an option uh, for you to consider. Within the session start, which takes care of a instantiating shopping cart so that for each and every session there will be a shopping cart object that represents the cart, the shopping cart where all products are added. We could also take care uh, of that shopping cart when the session ends and consider uh, saving shopping cart data to the database. However, in this code sample uh, we don't do anything, we do nothing. Uh, it is just kind of a proof of concept, but when you move forward and develop your own uh, web store, you might want to consider to place some code within the session end method in order to uh, persist all a shopping cart data of a specific session that ends to the database. Let's take a closer look in, at one of the uh, web pages that presents uh, products for sale. So, if we look at books.aspx, we can find uh, three buttons. Each one of these uh, buttons, there is a code behind method that is executed. And going over those methods, uh, we shall find that each and every one of them uh, actually creates, instantiates product in order to get a, a new object that represents um, a specific, a very specific uh, product. Here, for example, we could improve our, co our code in the implement uh, factory design pattern or maybe even abstract factory. Um, and we could even implement uh, the flyweight design pattern in order to save um, resources, memory resource. Well, it all depends on what kind of a web store you develop. So each time a user press one of the buy buttons in order to add a product to the shopping cart, uh, we actually instantiate it instantiate product class and then uh, just add it to the shopping cart object we get when referring session passing over the text uh, cart. This is the, the text we used, we were using when attaching a shopping cart um, object with the session object which means that when this code snippet is executed, we actually get a shopping cart object specifically for the very same uh, user, for the very same um, session we are dealing with. So each time a user uh, chooses to add a product to his shopping cart, the add method is invoked on the shopping cart object of that very same uh, user. So let's try to execute this code 
and see how does it work. So uh, let's first go to the flowers department. So I buy a rose, I buy a tulip, I buy another rose. Let's go to the books department, let's buy a few books. I buy HTML5 basics, I buy core Java, I buy another core Java. Let's press the cart and see the total. As you can see, we have a detailed list that shows the exact products and the quantity of each and every one of them that we bought. Uh, you might want to improve this code so that each time a user press buy in order to add a rose or any other product to his shopping cart is also transferred to the um, cart uh, ASPX page in order to see that he succeeded to add that very specific product to his uh, shopping cart.